Hey, I'm Dr. Rax. Welcome to Maximize Your Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making turnip fries. And if you like sweet potato fries, if you like french fries, then you're also going to love turnip fries, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a total of four turnips, okay? Now here's how you make these into fries. Here's how I do it. As I take the turnip, I, I, ne I first, first thing I do here is cut it in half, okay? And you may want to make sure you don't slice your finger on this. But you take it, cut it down in half like slow. Okay, so you kind of have the two halves there. And then what I'm going to do is take it and cut it into kind of fry-like slices, okay? And they're just about a you know half an inch or so slices, just kind of cut down like so. Cut down on both ends there. Okay, and turnips are great. Let me say why turnips are really healthy for you. They're actually packed with vitamin C. They're one of the most vitamin C rich foods out there. Also great source of fiber and got a lot of good minerals there being a root and all. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of get those in the bowl here. Okay, so starting off with the turnips and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some grape seed oil. Now you could also warm up some coconut oil. You could actually use butter for this. Just kind of use whatever oil you'd like to use, but you're gonna put about a tablespoon over uh, over these turnip fries. And so I'm gonna do maybe a little bit more, but about a tablespoon. Now you don't wanna go overboard. The reason you only, only wanna use a tablespoon is if you use too much, it makes them soggy, similar like sweet, sweet potato fries, if you ever made those. You don't wanna use too much, again, because it will become soggy. One tablespoon is enough, all right? Next thing we're gonna add in is garlic powder. You're gonna do about a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm just gonna kinda take it and kinda douse it all over right there. Okay, that may be a little bit more, but I like garlic, so. All right, next thing we're doing here is black pepper and sea salt to taste. Again, I'm also a big black pepper fan. Gonna take that and kinda sprinkle that on there. And then I'm gonna take some sea salt and just kinda bring that. And again, sea salt's great, full of electrolytes, really helps rehydrate your body uh, if you're drinking enough liquids with it. And so it's good there. So we're gonna do that. And then what I'm gonna do now is just kinda mix, uh, kinda just mix this up together, just with my hands. All right, make sure we kind of get on all those ingredients all over the place. And then the, what we've also been doing this time is we've preheated the oven up to around 450 degrees. Okay, so we have these turnip fries here. We are going to now lay, there we go, kind of get some of the oil and the rest of the mix out of the bowl there. And then what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna kind of spread these out pretty evenly on the pan. And once we get this in the oven, we're gonna heat it up for about 15 to 20 minutes uh, on each side. And then we're gonna take these out and we're gonna flip them for another 15 and 20. So this recipe typically takes a little bit longer, but in between 20, or in between 30 and 40 minutes. We've got, we, we got our, uh, our oven set there in between 425 and 450. And now we're just gonna go and take these turn and fries, get them in the oven there. And we're gonna let them bake again in, in between 15 and 20 minutes and then we'll take them out and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, our turnip fries are ready to go. We let them cook a total of about 40 minutes, 20 minutes on each side. We went ahead and flipped them and now they are ready to serve. We're gonna go ahead and bring them out of here. All right, and look at these. These look almost just like French fries, but they're turnip fries. So they're gonna be lower in carbohydrates. You're not gonna, if you're, again, if you're worried about sugar, you don't have to worry about that because turnips are a root. Um, and again, closer to the, closer to the constituents of a sweet potato, even a little bit lower in carbohydrates there. And so we're going to go ahead and serve them here. And these are great with, uh, you can try them with ketchup, you can try them with barbecue sauce, you can try them plain, but overall you're going to love these things. You're going to love it. Again, if you like the sweet potato fries, you're also going to love the turnip fries. Hey, thanks for watching. Maximize your health.